Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show. <clears throat> I have a new pen mail. So I have just... I've only cut off the end. And here we have a pen. Okay, let's put some light on the subject. All right. Super exciting. It says on the pen, business gift pen. Made in China. Hi, Obs. How are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? Little pen on one side. Ooh, and a recycle symbol, so that means it can be recycled. That's good. All right, let's get ourselves a, a knife. I think this one's too big. I have to use a file. I'm doing very well, thank you. I'm on lunch for the moment. So, I have about 30 minutes before I have to go back to the office. And here we have the Jin Hao 82. Oh my god. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. That is stunning. It looks a little greener in person. But this is just, oh my gosh. That is amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. This cartridge converter. Standard International. Oh, very nice. Nib unit comes out for easy maintenance. Friction fit. It's been pre-tested. I can tell because there's schmutz on the. You can tell it's been pre-tested because there's schmutz on the, on the feed. That's great. Okay, I am gonna take this over to the sink and give it a rinse, and I will be right back. I thought that I had bought a medium nib, but apparently when you click on the medium nibs, it doesn't actually order you a medium nib, which is a frickin' bummer because I hate extra fine nibs. That is why I have my book of nibs with me so I can try and see if I can find a nib that is... Better than this one. <laughs> Let's see, what is this? Well, that's a fine point. No, I don't want that. I want my. No, I don't want a flex nib either. Either the 1.1 or the 0.6. The zero point seven. This is a fine. This is an extra fine. This is a medium. I wanted my 
Brodnib. What is it? This is a 1.5. I don't want the 1.5. I want my Brodnib. This is it, 0.7. Okay. <clears throat> I really like the material with the gutter. Love of nibs. But hey, I'm a bit a weirdo and trying to improve my handwriting. All right, well, you have come to the right place. Okay, so now which nib is it? This one? This one is a uh, 0.7. I think I'm going to use the 0.7 nib. I mean, I like the nib on this. It's really pretty and all, but it's not really my jam. Now the question becomes, what pens and inks should I use with these with this pen oops that's too big I really need to organize these better I'm thinking a thoughts about using Perhaps a teal ink would go well in this pen. Mm, I'm thinking maybe California teal or perhaps if I have any left. I should probably try out this extra fine nib first, huh? Just to see if it's any good. Fine. Twist my arm. And try out this extra fine nib just to see if it's any good or not. need these. They can go in the trash. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> what colors are going to go best with this ink? This is the one. I wonder if I have any more of that left. That is a front runner. No. No. Ooh, this one's also a contender. No. 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 <coughs> no. 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 No, 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 no. Hmm, I was thinking about California, but... Ooh, iced cookie, that's a close one, too. No, mm. Emerald 
called the Shavor. That one it would definitely go well with it. And it's got the sparkle, the gold sparkle with it too. And that one is like spitting image. That one's definitely in the front runner. No, 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 no. I have two Odinels in here, I just realized. Okay, so I think it's up to these ones. Actually, I think that that Jabon Emerald de Chavor is one of the closest. But this map of Mars is very close to. I think the writing looks more closest to Monteverdi Iced Cookie. I don't even think I have any bluegrass velvet left. I think we're gonna go with iced cookie. Even though I think the Emerald de Chavor would look uh, really good, but I don't wanna put a shimmer ink in this first to, to just to make sure that it's working good. Okay. Iced cookie it is. And it'll give me a chance to use my bottled Monteverde inks. I just love a good excuse to use my bottled inks. Okay. Nice little O-ring. Okay, I just made a decision to break out a new journal to do some writing with and scribbling in. Okay, this is the Jin Hao. Peacock Blue. With an extra fine nib.
that's nice. I like it. It's smooth. For being an extra fine, that is. <clears throat> I wish it was a medium or, or a broad, but... All right, let's try Try our broad nib. Come on. Come out. Okay. Do a little hot swap. This is a 0.7 millimeter broad Jin Hao nib. I like it way better. Slightly wet. <clears throat> if you guys are interested in broader nibs, they come in a number five size nib. So this is a Junhao. Oops. Why aren't you writing? Junhao 82. And um, if you go to wish.com and you search for Jin Hao 992, you can find all the sizes from hooded, extra, fine, extra, fine, fine, medium, 0.7. 1.1, 1 1.5, 1 1.9, 2.9 millimeter stubs. So, and they're very, very cheap. This is a Jinhao 992. Relatively inexpensive pen. They usually come about a dollar a piece. Let me see. You 
can find <coughs> oops here they are you can find them in a multitude of colors 0 0.7, 1 1.1, 1 1.5, 1.5, 2.5 and 2.9 and they're $1.77 a piece and $2.99 shipping plus taxes <clears throat> so, I mean, they are very reasonable. And here's another one where you can get the 0 0.7, 1.1, 1.5, 2.9. And uh, Wish is a relatively... Uh... Oh, and here you can get the entire set for $64. I don't know what that is. Don't do that one. <laughs> but yeah, wish.com and then search for the Jen Howe 992 and you can find all of the sizes there. <clears throat> and then you can take your cheapy, your cheap nib and you can put it on your expensive pen. Well, maybe not an ex super expensive pen. I bought this pen on AliExpress for $7.93 total. It was $3.50 and like $4 for shipping. Almost nearly three and a bit dollars for shipping. And it was worth it because if you buy them on Amazon.com, they run about ten dollars. Or like fourteen oh nineteen dollars. Oh god. Okay, so this one was twenty is twenty nine dollars on Amazon. So don't buy it from Amazon. Just wait a little while and get it from AliExpress or Wish.com and you will get a better deal. You might have to little wait a little while, but uh, it's worth it, I think, anyway. And it is a really beautiful pen. You can see it's got beautiful sparkles in it. It looks just like the Sailor 1911 in peacock blue, but instead it's kind of a cheapy pen, but I like it. And it was under $20 for this really nice pen. So, Very nice, very nice. <clears throat> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I've got for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So, take care until then.
Okay, I love you. Bye. Have a great day. I have to get back to work. Hi, Ron. Bye, Ron.